Hey guys, Ben with KZT, aka Guy Piercer. So I'm here today with a Battle Sling Elite from Tacticon Armament. We're going to go ahead and open it up, set it up on a gun, and see what we think about it. If it's your first time here, make sure you're liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, because all those things do help feed the nonsense that I am on, because I am on some nonsense. And that's all I can say about it. If you've been here for a while, thanks for checking us out, and thanks for giving us a follow. If you have, if not, well, I hope you feel guilty about it, and that guilt makes you follow. Anyways, so, brand new, in the bag, Battle Sling Elite. It is the gray coloration that they have, and it has not yet been opened, so we're just going to go ahead, ah, pop that top there. Ah, oh, so let's just, it smells like TJ's. Only like nine people will get that reference. Alright, so let's take a look here. Got the sling itself. All right, some instructions. A product registration card in there. It looks almost like a Monster Tactical one, but it's Tacticon. Cool. All right, so they threw in a pair of Q Diesels. So we'll see about those. But yeah, let's take a look here at the sling. Here is the padded section. Now, normally I don't like padded slings. Um, so we'll see if we end up keeping that. And the far end is open to throw that QD through and then put it back through. So we'll get to that here in just a second. So the end is not heat sealed all the way that I'd like it to be. It's a little frayed right there. Um, and I'd like it if they cut it at an angle. Um, and so it's easier to slide in and out of those little tri glides here. But I understand why they probably didn't. And for like 20 bucks shipped on Amazon, you know, there's a limit to what you can expect. So, we have some more adjustments back here. So, we can go ahead and shorten the length of that sling. Uh, another adjustment up here. This is, well, they make them look like dog tags. Go ahead and pop those off. And there's a little funky tri glide thing here, or the, uh, the quick adjust. And it's wrapped up in a rubber type contraption. Um, and as this is going to be something I'm going to drag your mom around with uh, in the living room, having a rubber on there may not be a bad idea. So let's see if you pop that. Okay. So what we'll do is run this all the way down. Okay, so we got some length just there and there. So we'll go all the way down to the, the tri glide, which is very cool. Um, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl. I would call her. Um, so I wish this was a little bit longer um, with this being the adjustment piece. And you can see here the stitching on the back. It doesn't, like when they, they attach these, or they close this section off. Didn't do a very good job, but it's kind of off centered. Um, this one is pretty decent here. Um, the bar tacking looks like, I mean, I've seen way better bar tacking than that. Um, but again, $20 on Amazon, so we'll see. Uh, so, how's everything else looking? Not too bad. Um, and they have a lifetime warranty on these things, so you can go replace it if you need to. I would, there was a drag light. I would rather not rely on a warranty. Um, to, I would rather not rely on a warranty, but, um, you know, we'll see. So let's go ahead and get those QDs installed. Okay, so here's the QDs. Um, this one, as you can see, is clearly bowed out, uh, makes more of a circle type deal than like the oval, this guy here. So that's kind of disappointing that that's, you know, um, these are obviously Amazon mystery meat, you know, cuties. So um, let's see here, uh, where are we going to do? So we're going to put the good one down at the adjustment end. So Nolan from Tacticon has a video of how to set this up, but it's pretty simple. Go ahead and run that on there. And come back over the top. 
and maybe get yourself a five like a stew there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a little bit of my adjustment to you. We don't stop singing here on this channel. Alright, so I got my adjustment side QD there. Uh, it's lining up a little bit, but that's okay. I'm a number jack and I'm okay. So we'll go back down here, drop the QD, pop this back through there. Have you ever set up a sling before? Like, this isn't turbo rocket science. Um, all right, so you can adjust everything there, although there's a tail, a tailie, that kind of hangs off there, so I'm not a big super fan of that. Um, it's back by the pad there, but I imagine we can run that tri glide out further. Yeah. Okay, so that's as long as it'll go. And if we do that, we shorten it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount this on a gun and see what you think. So, uh, again, I'm not really a big fan of padded slings. You can, uh, they say, remove the pad. I imagine you just undo these uh, little tray glides here and slide it off. Um, yeah, that's all you'd have to do, really. So, I'm going to leave it on, though, just to give it a try. Um, maybe I will like this padded sling. Who knows? So, all right. So let's go ahead and run a quick adjustment. First of all, our rifle here. Nice and clear, YouTube. Thank you. Predominantly gray. Go ahead and run the non quick adjust end back here to the Magpul stock, the DT carbine stock. Because now they're being smart and actually including QD sockets and their slings. Which is crazy that Mac looks like this. Freaking long to do. Um, so they are rotation limited, which is awesome. Um, I think that'll give you the most out of the way use. I won't be adjusting my sock too much on the fly, but... Um, you know, I'd almost, I may almost end up uh, running that through the footman's loop in the back. Um, if this becomes a pain as far as like being able to adjust the stock goes, typically I will be adjusting it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Billy. Um, I will be adjusting it um, for the other side, so it probably won't matter too much, but we'll see. Okay. Now, we'll take the quick adjust and park it up here. This is not a rotation limited QD, so there's that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and size this sling for me, and we'll finish up. Okay, so I got the sling roughly sized for me. There is a bit of a tail right here, which I will either cut off or just zip tie. Uh, to the sling. Just keep it out of the way. Again, I'm not too slick on pads. The pad, I think, uh, from the adjustments that I made is a little bit close to the buttstock. However, um, I'm sure that I could get adjustments on the other end of the slide and, you know, just do it from there. So, it's held pretty close to my body. I'm a big fan of that. And then, go ahead and do what I need to do for the sling run out. So, you go ahead and do mag changes, do all the things that you need to do, and then just grab your little adjuster there, pulls nice and tight again to your body. So, guys, that's it. Uh, that's all I got for you today. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll more for you later.